blooming in Bloomington. Today we are back at Griffey Lake. You can see it's a nice rainy Thursday morning. And we are looking at one of our water plants. We're looking at pickerel weed, which is right in front of us. Pickerel weed is really loving itself in the water. It has leaves that are heart shaped or arrow shaped. And it has that nice purple stalk of flowers. You can see the leaf shapes are kind of conical. They come into each other. And the bottoms of the leaves are rounded. There's another type of water plant uh, that's called arrowweed, and that would have pointier ends, but this is pickerel weed. Pickerel weed is named so because pickerel fish would like to be in it and use it as cover. Pickerel weed likes to be on the edge of water and it likes to, to be fairly still. So it's happy here at Griffey Lake on the edge of our lake where it's tucked in away from the center of the water. Pickerel weed is indeed an edible plant. So the young leaves can be eaten as well as the seeds. And the seeds are similar to barley. So the dead flower spike, once it dies, you can see some of the seeds on there. And if you were collecting it, you would just pull gently. And if they all fall off in hand, that means you're right. If they don't come off, that means they need more time. But those seeds can be eaten raw, or but they tend to taste better cooked. My favorite part of the pickerel weed, however, is what it does as a water plant. Pickerel weeds are really important for keeping our waters clear. So just like our wetland out here, if you ever come to Griffey, you might see these three green buoys. To the left is our protected wetland and uh, bird area because the wetland here acts as a big sponge. It sucks up all of the water, it sucks up all the excess nutrients, and it filters that. So our wetlands do an incredibly important job of filtering our water. When you see a big rushing stream and there's fast water, it's bringing everything with it. But a wetland will slow the water down, which causes things to drop from the water, and then the plants that grow there and the animals and the bacteria that live there all break that nutrients down and make the water safe again. Uh, let me know if you know of a different wetland plant that you'd like to know more about.